Hey everyone, quick video on how to track and remove multiple objects in the Fusion page. So here you'll see our clip, we've got shake, so and we've got movement which creates problems when you're trying to mask and remove an object. So quick way to do this in the Fusion page, um, we're going to just use paint for this. We're going to be on our median one node and then we're going to click paint and then uh, on the right here we're going to come over duplicate and then we will do single up here. So let's say we want to move, remove this white piece of trash right here. So we're going to zoom in here. I did that holding command and then rolling my uh, center of my mouse. So we're going to hit Alt. Alt will be the area that you're going to mask. So for that, we're going to use that little crack there. And then here we go. We're just going to color this out. I'm going to do multiple strokes because I want to show you guys how to group and track. So there you go. That is now gone, but you'll see the problem with that. It looks great in a still shot, but when we move and shake, you'll see it comes back. See it showing up again because the mask is not tracking the movement. So let's go back to where we were, 190. And so the way we fix that, get your pointer up here, highlight the whole area where you may have made any kind of paint stroke. Got it. Then right here, you're going to see group at the top, click group. And then you'll see over here we've got tools, modifiers, center. You'll notice there's nothing in modifiers right now. So you're going to go to hover over center and right click. We're going to modify with tracker position. Now you'll see a tracker's popped up and now there's a modifier in here. Uh, so what we want to do is we're going to go to modifiers and we need to tell it what to track. What is it, what is it going to base its tracking on? And we need to make a tracker source. And you're going to drag media one into this space. Boom. So now it knows what it's tracking. You'll see whatever's in the center here, you'll you'll have it there. And then we just want to track it. All right, so we've tracked it. So now as the camera moves, the mask is now following it. And you can see how this would be helpful for multiple. So let's say we now want to move this piece of paper. Well, we're going to just add another paint node and run through the process again. So we're going to go duplicate, go single up here, and then we are just going to find a spot that we want to use to duplicate it. So let's start down here. We're holding Alt and clicking. And then we're just going to drag it up. There we go. And then we're going to find a different place to do this. That's perfect. And then you see as the X starts moving up, you're now copying underneath. You're copying another version of this image with what you've got um, underneath. So it's gonna start bringing in the paper as you hover over the paper. So we need to go Alt, stay down low, and there we go. Okay, it's gone. Same process, so we're gonna go here and we're gonna highlight it and make a group. We're gonna hover over center, right click, modify with, tracker position. Tracker is there, go over to modifiers. Remember we wanted to track media one and then let it go. Boom. All done. So now you'll see anywhere the camera moves, mask is covered. And you can do this infinity times. And, you know, if you wanted to move, remove, if there was a poster on the wall, and this little white piece of paper we could remove. And this has become crucial if I ever do a shot and there's multiple, you know, businesses in the shot or whatever. I don't want to use the logos or the names of companies. So you just, you know, do a shot and then come in here and you can remove multiple ones if you do. And uh, just a quick, easy way to do it. All right, guys.